Well, less than a year after Kobe Little was elected to lead Maryland's NAACP, he has been stripped of his duties. And tonight, it is unclear exactly why. Mr. Mayor, I don't know if you heard me. Step up or step aside. In the past year, the NAACP president has been a vocal critic of the mayor and a vocal supporter of former state's attorney Marilyn Mosby. Marilyn Mosby loves justice and she loves black people and we will continue to stand for her. But less than a year after Kobe Little was elected president of Maryland's NAACP state conference, he, along with Treasurer Joshua Harris, have been suspended from their jobs. In a letter to state and local leaders this week, the organization announced that national president Derek Johnson had placed them on suspension from the Maryland State Conference and the Baltimore City branch, pending further notice due to complaints received from members of the Maryland State Conference. The organization claimed that complaints and allegations have not been fully provided to Reverend Little and Mr. Harris to refute, nor have they been fully investigated. However, the organization's new acting president called the news unsettling and disruptive. Little is also president of the local Baltimore branch of the NAACP. Now, you know, we've had things that have happened to the branch that are indescribable. Doc Cheatham is a former president of the Baltimore branch who says members have recently complained about questionable practices. We have minutes that we never seen. We have financial reports that we never seen. We have at least eight different things that need to be questioned as being done by this president. Last October, fire broke out at the local NAACP headquarters on 26th Street. At the time, Little lashed out at city leaders for failing to maintain nearby vacant buildings. Don't tell us you take action when you have a hearing and discover that there's squatters in the building and you do nothing and then the building catches on fire. But now the local and state leader is suspended from his post and the Baltimore headquarters remains in a state of disrepair. How can you have a fire in the Baltimore City branch NAACP on October the 5th, which is almost a year, and nothing has been done to replenish the branch? You know, that's, that's unbelievable. Did not respond to requests for comments today. The organization's vice president has now been named acting president. Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.